everyone. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit of a flower um, thing going on at the moment, um, an obsession. <laughs> I've got a pile of these paper um, flower die cuts. I've had these for, oh, goodness knows how long. I bought them in the works and they were a pound a pack. Um, I've got about four or five packs because I bought them in various different colourways. So I've got the pinks. I've got sort of um, like the rustic natural colours. I've got various greens. Um, I've got purples. There we go. Various purple ones. Whoops, Daisy. I've got a blob of blue in that one. And then I've got um, some blues as as well. Um, but the trouble is, stacked together just, uh, just on their own, they don't really sort of look like very much because all of the die cuts are the same um, size. So I decided to start layering them. And what gave me the idea was some of these um, little birdie flowers that I've got. I picked these up from um, my local craft store. Um, but they are quite expensive. They're about £5 um, a pack and um, I've got all kinds of supplies um, in, in my stash that I can use to, to build these um, paper die cuts up um, so that they end up looking like this. Now many of you um, will remember when I went to the scrap store a couple of weeks ago I picked up a couple of bags of um, bridal flower scraps and these were a pound a bag um, and inside there's all kinds of sort of little petals and, and things like, like this. Let me just grab a few so that you can you can see and um, and I just thought these were absolutely great for, for layering up with these paper um, flower dies. I've also got packs like this. This was from the works in the UK, these little crocheted flowers. Um, I've got brads that I've picked up from Poundland. I've got these little felt um, flowers as well. These were two pounds um, from, oh gosh, the quilting um, supply shop that, um, that Alex used to go to. I've got some pearl um, little brads. Um, I've got some of some of these little flower flower things here, which are which are really pretty, and I've also got some of these um, paper flowers here that um, come in packs of a pound, um, and they come in various colourways. So I'm just going to show you how I I make these. Um, so let me just um, move these out of the way, and I'll show you what I have been doing and how I've made them, and they're so simple and and easy. Um, the works still carry these these by the way, so if anybody wanted to have a go then um, you can still get all the, all the parts um, so the pieces come in individual um, pieces like like this and they're all different different shapes and what I've done because they're all the same size the one that I'm going to be using in the center I've just cut it down slightly and I've just gone round the center with my nail scissors following um, the outline um, of the shape like like this um, just to trim it down slightly so that it's um, it's smaller and I've got some dimension going on. And then I've just got my glue gun at the, re at the ready. Um, this has been heated up for quite a, a time now, so it's probably gone a bit brown, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. And then it's just a case of, of layering your, your shapes. Um, trying to do them off center. Let's add some glue to the back of, of this one. There we go. And then we can pop that one down. Um, like so, as I say, trying to get it um, off off centre. Um, then I've got one of these um, little flowers here. Um, let me just try and push that down with a with a rubber. Um, and then this one here. Um, in fact, I'll probably be able to get away with that. Some of these have got a piece of plastic on the back that just needs cutting off. These are the ones that I got from the scrap store. And so I'm just plonking that um, in the centre, just like that. And that has just instantly transformed those boring um, paper paper flowers. And you actually get, I think, about 30 odd pieces in, in a pack for, for a pound. Um, so you can make lots and lots and lots of these. But then I find that um, the thing that sort of really sets them off um, and bringing in the gesso, let me just grab um, my paintbrush. I've got um, a scrappy old paintbrush here and I'm just going to add a little bit of, of gesso to the to the lid. And then all I've been doing is just going around with my raggedy old paintbrush just to give some highlights to the outside of the, the flower, like, like this. Just really randomly. And this just gives them sort of a lovely vintage um, look. Let's add some to the burgundy bit um, in the middle
and I just think that just looks absolutely um, wonderful. So there's one flower made, so I'll pop that um, to one side. Let's do another one here, let's do a blue one. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing and just layer my cardboard um, pieces. As I say, sort of um, really trying to get them um, off off centre if I if I can. I think I have I got two stacked to, together there. I think I might have. No, I haven't. It's my imagination. And then this centre one here, I've already cut um, down with my nail scissors. So I'm going to add that one to the centre there like that and then I, this time I've got one of these felt um, embellishments out of um, this, this pack here which I'm going to use. I've probably got enough glue in the middle there just to glue that down and again I just, just really like that and again bring in the gesso which I think just makes all the difference. Let's just grab a bit of gesso out of my tub, scrape off um, most of it And then we just go round the outside of the flowers like, like this. And just that bit of detail with the gesso, I just think just transforms these flowers. And I think we'll add a bit to the, the felt as well, why not? And there we have um, an, another one. Um, then also what I've got is some boxes of these floristry petals. Um, and I've had these for donkey's years, probably 10 years. These were £2.25 when I bought them um, per tub. And they're just loose petals like, like this. And I've got them in the lavender, the green and teal and the pale blue. Um, there's a floristry wholesalers just down the road from, from us and that's where I got them from. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to layer some of these um, petals. So let's have a let's have a go with, with this. Probably going to keep coming in with um, some glue here. But many of you, I'm sure, have got um, things around your home, um, supplies that you've had in your cupboard that you've had for absolutely ages that you can use to layer, um, to make flower shapes like, like this. And I just find that having the cardboard, you can't really see much of it, of that cardboard flower, um, but it stabilises um, it. And I'm going to use a couple of these flowers out of the scrap store pack um, in the centre like, like this. Let's grab my ruler just to flatten the glue down so that I don't burn my fingers. Um, add a bit more glue to the back of that one there like that. And add that to the, to the centre. And there again, let's get rid of some of these stringy bits. And there again, we've got um, another beautiful flower. So bring in the gesso. Delve into my pot. And again, just go around the outside of the flower just to add some detail and dimension. We can come into the centre as well and just add a bit of um, of gesso. And that just gives it the real sort of handmade um, look in my opinion. And there we go, pick the lid back on the on the gesso and there we go, another handmade um, flower. Um, I've got a couple more here that I'm just going to quickly stack together. And then I've got another one here that um, I've trimmed down in size. And 
another flower out of the scrap store bag and then this time I'm going to use one of um, one of these embellishments which um, was uh, in a pack for a pound I think from pound um, land it's got um, an adhesive um, thing on the back but I'm still going to add a little bit of glue so there's that one there again sort of really really pretty bring in the gesso and as I say I really do think that the gesso just makes such a massive difference to these um, flowers it just transforms them and you could add gold around the edges if you if you wanted to as well. Um, you could even sort of spray on some of your glimmer mists just to sort of give it a bit of um, sparkle. And I just think that looks really gorgeous there we go and then we've got one last one here so let's have a play um, with with this but I, as I say I've had these in my stash for a very long time and just thought they were so boring in fact I wondered why I had bought them in the first place I'd always planned to um, alter them but um, just never never got round to it. In fact, I don't think I've even trimmed this one down. I think these are still the original size. So let's have a look and see what this looks like once we've stacked it. In fact, I'll add glue to the back of that one there. Stamp that down with my um, rubber. And then some of these from the scrap, scrap store have got this sticky out bit of plastic on. And all I'm doing with this is just chopping off the raised bit, dab of glue and plonk that in the centre and there we go and again finally bring in the gesso let's get rid of these um, stringy bits And I just think this is just really, really fun. Add a bit of white to the centre as well, just to sort of tie it all, tie it all in. And how gorgeous is is that? And so there we go. Let's bring in um, the others. And so here we are. Here's all these beautiful, beautiful flowers I just think these are just absolutely gorgeous and you know for topping um, cards for using in journal pages um, just so many ideas for these I just think they're they're beautiful and you could make dozens out of a pack of those paper cutouts very very inexpensive with stuff as I say that you've probably all got lying around your home so I hope you like that please give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know what you think in the in the comments below take care everyone see you all again soon